Oopsies. For another video um, I did put in the beginning of this video the new little item I bought um, a tripod I'm really excited I'm actually using it right now uh, and it seems to be working great it's much better than using my hands I talk a lot with my hands so I am excited to have them back um, so I am going to talk a little bit about early signs and symptoms we had on our way to a diagnosis um, Aubrey's probably going to be popping in and out, um, of the video for a bit, or in a bit, um, but some early signs and symptoms. So I'll start at the very beginning. I had Aubrey when I was 37 weeks pregnant. I was induced for cholestasis of pregnancy, which is rare. It's basically this, um, issue that comes during pregnancy sometimes um it's an issue in your liver where it's not filtering out the bile acids um i had no idea it even existed until i was diagnosed with it um so 37 weeks i had her she was six pounds nine ounces she was perfect and then her first um night she ended up losing 12 percent of her body weight so by the time we lost, we left the hospital, she was five pounds, 13 ounces. So she was a very tiny little peanut. Uh, when I would try and pick her up, um, you know, she would cry, these horrible cries. And I thought, did she get hurt, like an injury during birth or something? Uh, she's right here, actually. I'll flip the camera, you can see. <laughs> Um, did she get an injury at birth? Um, you know, I pick her up from the, here she comes. Who is it? Say hi. Hi. Who is it? <laughs> Who are you? Aubrey. Aubrey. Who is it? It's us. Hi. <laughs> okay. So I would try to pick her up from her car seat and it was almost like it was hurting her. So I was asking the doctor, um, could she have got an injury from birth? And she said that the, the way she saw it was when you picture yourself on like a roller coaster and you go down and you have this, the feeling in your stomach that it's dropping. Um, that's probably what she was feeling when we would pick her up. Because once we got her to us, she was okay. Um, so we kind of left it. What? Your baby... I know people that have their kids that... Up until they're like four, they can fall asleep in your arms. I couldn't... I didn't have that with her. Um, she... As a newborn, of course, like she... I, I nursed her. So I did have times where I was holding her like often. Um, but to fall asleep, anything like that, she preferred to be laying down either in her bed or on the boppy pillow, somewhere where human to human touch was not happening. Actually, one of her main, main symptoms was, um, constipation. She's, it's still something she struggles with and she, she had tests done to make sure everything was working correctly, which it is. So it was led to believe that it was more behavioral than um, like the inability to. So another one is OCD. She was starting probably around 18 months, like I said in my last video, she was starting to show signs of obsessive compulsive disorder in her ways of cleaning, repetitive, um, you know, we looked at her need for routine and structure as an obsession because, uh, because if it wasn't done, like it was, it was a meltdown. Um, so that was one touch. Now when she, um, when she 
hugs, like she turns her back and she backs into you. So you're hugging her like, like over the top. Um, she doesn't really like it. She doesn't like to be touched. She doesn't like her clothes to get wet. Another thing is her vocals, as you can hear. Um, she has a very large vocabulary um, ranging from her age to, like, I think they said six. Um, wow. So her words are great. Um, her no. sounds that she no. makes, Aubrey, indoor voices, her sounds that she makes um, can be a little bit different. Um, so this video is totally scattered because she's here. Um, the, the noises that she makes with her mouth um, are a little bit different. Um, so we had all these different signs and symptoms and we eventually, at her two year physical, brought them all to the, to the pediatrician who heard them all and she was more so concerned with the OCD factor. Um, and she re referred us to the behavioral developmental clinic where they brought her in and did all sorts of testing and officially diagnosed her with high functioning autism and sensory processing disorder. The sensory issues are our main issues now uh, potty training has really helped with the constipation. I'm not sure really the psychology behind it, but um, it has helped a lot. It still remains an issue, but it's not nearly as bad as it was before. So the sensory issues remain our biggest, so I'll go over some of those. Um, the biggest one is noises. They're really hard for her to handle tools, motorcycles, um, anything sudden that can catch her off guard is really, really hard for her to be redirected. Oftentimes, um, I need to remove her from the area where the loud noise is and find something else to kind of play. Um, she loves music, so that, that's a big help. Um, a lot of the other, you know, your typical sensory things like getting overwhelmed. I've noticed things. I am, uh, in this video, I am going to show you her body sock, which I notice that helps a lot. Um, she likes to, to put herself into the body sock and kind of fill it with stuff and take her tablet in there. Uh, I think it helps with the deep pressure. Plus, it puts her in her own little little bubble, like a cocoon, so she feels secure. Um, so I'm going to show that. I also did, I do have a link down below for the body sock that we have off of Amazon. No. Um, if you guys want to check that out, it's linked down below. Another thing is um, her muscle tone with autism oftentimes comes weak muscle tone and Aubrey has that unfortunately so she started off with SMOs which are little ankle braces and she now um, has upgraded to AFOs which I am going to show you um, those I'm going to make another video about those to go into more detail but I am going to get together all of her sensory you know fidget toys of that nature and um, do a whole video on those pros, cons, you know, worth the money and not worth the money. Um, of course, I'm comparing these, I'm using these things for my child. What works for her might not work for somebody else. I'm gonna do sensory toys. Um, I wanna do, she has a really hard time cleaning her room. Of course, I mean, she's three, almost four. We are going to do a clean out of her room. 
Um, I am anticipating some meltdowns and some hard times because she does get overwhelmed. So I think it might be good for those to happen and for you guys to kind of see how I handle them. Um, plus, we need to get rid of some stuff, some T-O-Y-S. Um, and that's going to be a really hard time as well. So I'm going to do that. Um, I have a few more ideas. If anybody has any other ideas, comment down below. I, you know, I want to know what you guys want as well. Um, I am going to do a video regarding discipline. Um, we have a very unique way of it. We don't really, actually. We discipline using positive reinforcement instead. Um, it's really the only thing that works for her. So... Um, that's going to be another video. Um, if you guys have questions about signs and symptoms, if you want to compare, um, please feel free to comment down below. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to be posting probably twice a week. I'm going to, sh I'm going to shoot for twice a week to start. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. But, um... Like, subscribe. I had to go because she's making a big mess in the sink. Um, but, yeah, stay tuned because I am going to put in a little insert about the body stuff no! and kind of go over a little bit of details about that. And don't forget, no! that's linked down below on my channel. So um, check that out if you don't know what it is. All right, I will see you in the next video. It's okay. It's just the drain. What do you have in your bucket? What? What do you have in your bucket? What is it? Slime. Slime. That's the timer. So we're going to put the water away and we're going to go get ready for dinner. Can I play with the slime? We can, can play with the slime after. Can we leave the water in? We'll leave the water in the bucket. Okay. Okay, so this is her body sock. Back up a little bit, babe. It's no! a nylon silk no! material. Um, she can run in it. She loves it. Stretch. Stretch. <laughs> she loves the deep pressure um, pushing on her feet. So the stretch is really good. Um, she likes to lay down and take the pillows in it. You know, as you can see. Oh, there she is. You can pretty much do anything. Um, they can't hurt themselves in it. They can fully breathe in it. Uh, she likes to lay down on the floor, pull the pillows into the body sock take her tablet in there she likes to you know take a book um it's really a great a great tool for her so she loves that um so yep so that's linked down below she's gonna be a crazy maniac of course hearts worth falling for I'll carry yours Come Rain or shine I'll cover you up And calm the skies As long as you Every tear that falls from your